Let's talk about ocean going vessels. Full displacement, we're standing right next to a Nord Harbin 57. Now it's 57 foot long, but it is an absolute monster. A couple of key features I wanna show you here. This thing here on the side, this is what's called a keel cooler. Now this is used to cool the coolant of the engine. This vessel is a dry exhaust um, um, boat, which means that they use this keel cooler to cool the coolant of the engine rather than taking seawater into a heat exchanger in the actual boat. This is used to cool it. So there's no um, raw water circuit through the engines of these boats. Okay, we've got massive fin stabilizers here, huge fin stabilizers. Okay, yes, these boats are quite high up out of the water, but you can see how deep it is. Okay, so let's say the boat at the bottom is about a foot and a half off the water. I'm six foot tall, six foot three tall. There's the water line. Look at the depth of this thing. It's immense. Then we're moving up to the front, up to the front here. We've got this massive bulbous bow, huge bulbous bow here. The idea of the bulbous bow is to lead the bow through the water. But this huge um, uh, bow thrust in the front of it here. And look at this thing. We take a, take a few steps back and just look at the volume of this boat. It's 57 foot long. It's under 60 feet long. Look at the volume of that. What it also does, if we come around the other side, what it also does, it gives you huge amounts of volume underneath the waterline. And as we walked up here, Greta, who's behind the camera, said, oh, is this a, this a brand new boat? Like, no, it's been well looked after, well maintained, and is now being facelifted. So all this was, as far as I know, this was all blasted back and it's all been taken back to, to um, the substrate and then built back out again. You see out here, we've got these massive deep sections underneath here as well, which accommodate the engine. See how the, this goes down into here, right? So that accommodates the engine space as well. And you'll see that from there, the shaft, because of that deepness, the shaft actually comes out straight. The shaft is running like this, straight through the boat to the, that engine bay bed. You see how they've come out and down below to create that cavity for the engine space. This means a direct drive to the shaft. So there's no angle on the engine. The engine is flat, okay? These things are designed to run for thousands and thousands of hours. This boat, Nordhaven's are uh, famous for having, you know, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 nautical miles of range of their fuel thing. There's massive, beautiful propeller here, single propeller. Um, this is a line cutter here. So if lines get caught in here, that will cut the line, yeah? So these very sharp blades here. It's all been prop speeded though, but these are the line cutters. Come around, look at this solid, solid rudder. The rudder post goes all the way through to this base plate here. Very solid and very um, safe for grounding. Yeah, beautiful engineering on behalf of North Harbour. Now these boats are built in, are built in China, but under the PAE, Asia Pacific Enterprises. Um, which is an American-owned company, or an American uh, association um, of, between factory and designer. Jim Leishman uh, built, designed these beautiful boats. And um, so they run the quality control program on the factories. So this is an example of a reasonably well-made product from that part of the world. This little prop here, which is a folding prop, which you'd see on a yacht, a lot on a yacht, this is what's called the wing engine, and this is a get home safety engine. So this wing engine runs up through a shaft here, is up to another little, usually a lugger motor in a lot of these. And what that means is if you lose your main propulsion while you're working on that, you can still maintain. This will get you, this little prop here should get you about, you know, like four knots of headway, even in some rough conditions. But this is solely as a reserve propulsion system. So basically, you know, if your engine cuts out, these are your paddles to keep going. There we go, there's massive anodes here. Massive stern, stern uh, um, thruster, huge stern. That's a pretty big stern thruster for this size vessel. And then we're back to this heat exchange. You can see how the heat exchanger works. It's got anodes all the way around it here to protect it. But the, the raw water, the coolant's coming in through here. As we're moving forward, the water's going past that, taking away all the heat. 
So that means true dry exhaust. So there's no exhaust below the waterline. It means that um, you can see there's only very few engine pickups. Uh, sorry, seawater pickups. There's only very few skin fittings in this boat. There's not a lot of skin fittings below the waterline. Skin fittings, I mean these things here, where the fittings go through the skin of the boat, hence the name skin fitting. But this is right up there on my dream boats. And inside there, look at the volume of it. Inside there is just an absolute house. It's massive. I mean, look at the size of these. Look at the size. I'm not going to touch them because they've been painted. But look at the size of those thruster blades. They might look small to you, but they're pretty substantial for a vessel of this size. All right, so there's the underneath of the Nord Harbin 57. Happy boating.